Today on this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2020 Trek Marlin 4. This is Trek's least expensive aluminum mountain bike, and we're going to go into some of the features, design, and why you might buy this bike. So let's get into it. So the Trek Marlin series is the entry level series from Trek, and it's their entry level beginner mountain bike series. But the Marlin 4 situates right at the very bottom and is essentially the gateway from a lower quality bike into a Trek bicycle. So this is going to have an aluminum frame, which is a step up from their Trek 820 steel frame bike, and offer many of the advantages of the rest of the Marlin line, although it runs a different frame. Now one of the things that's interesting to mention about a bike like this is while it is a mountain bike, think of this more like an SUV. So while a Honda CRV can go off-road, uh, it's really not the kind of thing that you'd go rock crawling with. And the same holds true here. This Marlin 4 is more like a hybrid bike with thick tires or a bicycle for a beginning rider to be able to follow mom or dad out onto the trails than it is something that you would expect to have real trail use with. So keep that in mind while you're looking at this because this bike's a great gateway but it's not the replacement for a true hardtail mountain bike to do some real trail work. Now, I talk about it has a different frame. This frame is still Trek's Alpha Silver Aluminum, but you'll notice that it's got a little more basic tube shaping than the Marlin 5 and up. And in fact, you can see a video about the Marlin 6 that'll be linked down in the description. But how they help take down some of the cost is you'll actually notice this has external cable routing. So the cable routing's on the outside, which makes it cost a little less and a little easier to repair. You'll notice that the welding on the frame is not gonna be smoothed out. And the tubing itself is a little more basic in shape. These are gonna be more of round or formed tubing. Now this Marlin frame still carries Trex lifetime warranty on the bike. And so you know it's gonna be built pretty well. It's also gonna be set up with rack mounts and fender mounts. So you'll see you've actually got rack mounts on the seat stay and then at the lower dropout function, but this does not have the integrated kickstand mount that you get on the Marlin 5 and above. The bike is actually gonna be set up using a Shimano Tourney seven-speed drivetrain. So the seven-speed drivetrain is started with a Shimano Tourney rear derailleur that goes through a Shimano TZ21 14 to 28 seven speed freewheel. And then up front, it's running a Shimano Tourney front derailleur, which is going through Shimano Tourney TY301 crankset. That's a 42, 34, 22. Now that drivetrain is important to mention because that drivetrain is actually gonna set this up to be able to do really well as a commuter bike and as a mountain bike. So the gearing actually has enough harder gears that you're gonna be able to go quickly on a bike path or within the city, but it's also gonna have some climbing gears where you can take it off-road. Now for the fork, this is gonna run a little more basic SR Suntour M3030 coil spring fork. This coil spring fork has 75 millimeters of travel and you'll notice it's going to have no adjustments. So this is an adjustment free fork, runs an inch and an eighth steer tube through a inch and an eighth semi integrated headset. What is really nice is on this bike you're actually going to be set up with a aluminum cockpit. So you've got an aluminum handlebar and stem, both Bontrager approved, 31.8 millimeter handlebar and stem. For a seat, this has Bontrager's standard Arvada seat, which is actually pretty comfortable, and that goes through an aluminum Bontrager 27.2 seat post. This is a little bit smaller diameter than most of the mountain bikes from Trek. Now the bike's going to be set up with some Bontrager XR2 29er tires, and this is where we should get into some of the information about smart wheel size. So the Trek Marlin runs what Trek calls smart wheel size. And that's where bikes that are 
extra small and small will run a 27 and a half inch wheel and bikes medium and larger will run a 29 inch wheel. A neat thing to mention is a 29 inch wheel is actually the same size rim as what you get on a 700C hybrid. So if you end up getting this bike and you decide you want a little bit slicker tires, there's a huge array of options on the 700C hybrid tires that could fit this bike. The wheels are Bontrager's own connection alloy wheels. These are gonna be 32 hole and they're gonna run through some formula DC20 front hubs and DC31 rear hubs. Now this bike is gonna be set up with Tektro M280 mechanical disc brakes. This is a basic disc brake that's gonna be hugely reliable and pretty easy to maintain, running 160 millimeter rotors front and rear. So now that we've taken a look at some of the specs and features of this Trek Marlin 4, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The Trek Marlin 4 in a size 17 and a half is gonna come in and weigh 30.4 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Trek Marlin 4. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.